Morning DP, I'm Rachel. And I'm Macy, and this is DP News. Hey DP, I'm Linda with your weather news. Today there is a 90% chance of rain. Wednesday is 60 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. And Thursday and Friday will be sunny when the highs in the mid 60s. That's all I have for your weather, DP. Now back to your anchors. This Sunday the 24th is DP News' first annual mini golf tournament event from 11 to 4. Make sure to come on over to the Twin Lakes Golf Course to have some swing and fun. Also, don't forget to bid on DP News' online auction, 32auctions.com slash DPHS, for some fun items like gym memberships, UGG products, and surfboards. If you're interested in buying tickets, find a DP News student or buy some at our online auction. If you had ordered photos from Winter Formal, they are available to be picked up <clears throat> in the activities office at lunchtime or after school. Seniors who are interested in attending SBCC after graduating need to pick up their English and Math assessment tickets, which are now available in Mrs. Irwin's office. The test will be given tomorrow, Wednesday, February 20th, from 8 to 12. If you have any questions, go see Mrs. Irwin ASAP because this needs to be done. Sophomores, sign up for the IB program are in progress now. Ask your counselor, Mr. Sofro, or Mrs. Beckstead if you need to pick up a form. Applications will be accepted until March 1st, so be sure to get those in. This week is National Scholastic Journalism Week, and when we look back at the first 100 years of American journalism, we often hear names like Joseph Pulitzer, William Randolph Hearst, and Nellie Bly. There are many more famous and infamous journalists, including people who've covered the Civil War and people who disclosed corruption in the White House or corruption in big businesses. But it's reporters like those on the Charger account who will document the history of Dos Pueblos. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to look into the journalism program for your schedule next year. A trailblazer is defined as an exemplary representative of the true spirit of Dos Pueblos High School. They push themselves and those around them to expand what it means to be a charger. The 12 tra trailblazers for 2012 and 2013 will each have a profile in the yearbook sharing their accomplishments and contributions to the charger community. These trailblazers will be honored tonight at our home CIF playoff game. Now over to Ryan with more. Hey DP, I'm Ryan Montag bringing you your sports news. Our guys basketball team played in their first round CIF game on Friday night, defeating visiting Norwalk 57 to 33. Zach Shugart led DP with 14 points, and Cruz Mertens and Jerry Perez scored 13 and 12 points respectively, helping edge out Norwalk starting right away in the first half. Our team has its second round game against Ellesnor tonight. If you see any players around campus, be sure to wish them luck. Many sports have begun training for the spring season. Track and field is one of these sports. We have a quick video for you to show you a little bit more about what happens on the track and field team. Um, you do think running. And uh, there are running events like the 100 and the 200 and the 400 and 800 and all the way up. Uh, but there's many events that don't require uh, very much running at all, like the long jump or the triple jump, like pole vault, um, like the shot and discus. I really like track just for the whole team aspect and the coach really fun. It's just a really fun atmosphere to be around the meets and town hall team, make a lot of friends and you get a good workout every day, you get have a fun competition with that. People should join track because it's a great atmosphere out here. And we have 200 athletes, um, it's a team environment. Um, you get to push yourself not only as an individual and push your limits and challenge yourself, which is I think um, something that all students should do, but then you also get to have the social aspect of um, hanging out with your friends and meeting new people and um, you know depending on your skill level you get to travel to different schools to compete. I won state in cross country last year and that was really big for me. I'm really proud of that and it's really a great accomplishment to represent DP. Thanks for the promo Linda and if you're interested in track you can stop by the track after school. Coach Molkoy would love to see you. Well that's all for your sports news today. Have a great day DP.